slicing and dicing with the Prusa Slicer Edition 2.2.0 Release Candidate 2, coming up on Zachary 3D Prints. Hello, this is Sakuri from Sakuri 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews and many other cool things you can do with 3D printing. If you're new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will put every social media link I have in the description of this video. You can if you want support this channel as well the patreon link i will put in the description of this video so like mentioned in the intro today we are going to use or at least i am going to use prusa slicer edition 2.2.0 release candidate 2. i will put the github download uh, link in the description of this video so that you can also put, uh, try this beta test out for yourself Prusa is great slicing software. I also have Prusa Slicer 2.1, but you can also use Prusa Slicer 2.2 beta version. It's great, it's nice, but you can get some bugs in the software. I also did one beta test before. I will put the link of that video in the right corner, and but there you can check out that one as well. But now let's get into the video. I have this huge model from Horizon Zero Dawn. It's an awesome thing. I did also a watcher and that one was at 100%. But now I have this Thunder Jar. You can see it right in the back and that one is scaled down. Because if I'm going to do 100% on my Anna tree, it will not fit. There is an option in Prusa Slicer that you can use. It's called the cut function. Later on in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this slicing and dicing. Well, what you do, you are going to or in orient your model that you can cut it into a decent part that you are still be able to print on your ender tree or even a smaller 3d printer you can cut pieces into smaller parts that you can even do it on a print bed of 10 by 10 centimeters it's endless you're going to have some a very small prints but you can do even that it takes some time but in the end the result is going to be amazing that i will also show you in some other videos because those parts need to be cleaned afterwards and then you can glue them together and then after that i'm going to paint that and you are going to see the end result on this channel on Instagram, on Facebook, every site that I have on social media, I will put some crazy progresses. So let's stop the chitter and let's get into the video. Now we are going to add one model to the building plate. So I already have done some cuttings and now I'm going to select a new part. Then we click on open and see what happens. Uh oh, it's way too big. This model is at 100%. And like I mentioned in the intro, we are going to cut this one into smaller parts that are printable on our 3D printer. Make sure when you do that, that you have the right printer settings so that your building plate here is correct. And that you have no big too big pieces 
So first thing that we are going to do is turn it around and let's see how big the model is. Well, in Process Slicer, you have this great tool. And happily enough, Cura has the same feature. Place on surface. Now we turn it around and we see that it's way too big. When we are going to slice it, you have to keep in mind that we don't, like I mentioned before, have loose or small parts on somewhere on the building plate and that you don't want to turn, throw it away. So we are going to cut this one. Let's put it on a other surface. Well, as you can see, I can put it here, but it's then weird to slice. I'm going to put it on this side. So it's standing upwards. And now I'm going to check if I can cut it the way it is now. So standard in Prusa, you can only slice in the height, not in the width or the length in this case. So I'm going to check to have as less as possible those ends. So right mouse button on the side, not on the model and then drag it a little bit downwards and check all the sides around. So if I see correctly, I've just here a part that I can use to slide through the whole model without having loose ends. And keep in mind, we are cut it like that, that when we are going to slice, slice it another time or maybe in the same afternoon or evening i don't know when you are going to do that but that you have as less as possible support material on your model or on your building plate by the way i cut it in this kind of way but i'm going to show you a little other trick that you can also use to use even less support let's say i'm going to cut it here make sure when you're going to slice it that you Keep all parts. So, that one we put on the side, but it doesn't work because they are both selected. So we just deselect one. And now we have this. We are going to check if I can put it on the building plate as it is now. So we are going to take the rotation. We are going to turn it a little bit more so that it is as straight as possible. Now we are going to use flat on surface and now we see that it is still too big. When it is correct and it fits on the building plate, the model turns into green. So I still see that the model is way too big, so we are going to cut it again. I think I see a place where I can make a very nice cut. So we are going to put it on this side. And as you can see, it turns right into green. I can, if I want, I can print it like that, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to cut it right here. I think this is the perfect spot to cut it. So that one, we're also going to put away. And now we can flip it over on that side. Now we have three parts. You can also check if you can put two models cut into two parts on the building plate and see if it will also be fitting. So in this case, I'm not going to do anything with it. I think it's quite cool. I don't have any support material needed there. So I'm going to export it as a file. Keep in mind, this is the yeah, it's the lower section. Now we are going to export it as an SEL file and then turn the jaw body down, lower, and then it's not the front, it's not the end, it's the middle section. This mid, well, middle, something like that. As, a, as long as you know exactly 
which kind of part is where. So save, and then we can remove it. We do the same thing here. And as you can see, it turns right into green. Later on, you can just turn it around to make it fit even better without any support material. I think it's quite okay like this, but I am thinking to use this side. I will get some support material, whether I slice it like here or do some other parts cutting and then I still need to use some supports so I'm also going to export it as an STL file and we are going to use the last part here is it so like you can see I can just put it there and then save it and then use it well first thing that I'm going to do is turn it a little bit more that it is also straight it's nice I'll twist it but as you can see I have this two parts here that are sticking out and it's going to cost me a lot of support material so I'm going to try to cut them off you know what am I thinking what if I am going to cut them right through this part still need some support but they are not way too high so I'm going to select it turn it around and I put it just on that side now I'm going to use the cut tool and see if I can cut them right in between you get the idea and what do you know I think it's way cool like this and then cut then I'm going to select one and I use the flattened surface I also do can do the same here I'm going to now I'm going to export them as separate SCL files one on the left one on the right so export as STL file and let's say it's the right side back right we are going to remove that and then we take the last part and it's also green you can always a little bit turn it a little bit more on the building plate so that it will also be is within the restrict, restricted areas so now we are going to save also this STL file. Well, it doesn't matter which kind of name you are going to give. In the end, you have one part left, one part on the right side. You're going to glue them together and then you have a whole part back again. Save and then remove. So to wrap up this video, it's kind of fun to use this kind of 3D slicing software. In this case, the Pusa Slicer 2.2.0 Release Candidate 2 Beta. I'll put the link in the description of this video. You can use to cut big, huge 3D models into smaller parts so that they fit on your 3D printer. But even when this big parts can fit on your 3D printer, you can cut them into smaller parts so that it is way easier to use as less as support material so that you have more clean 3d printed model in the end and that is what we all want to have some nice models that we can show our neighbors our family our friends or anybody else hey that is it for today's video so thanks for watching please like this video subscribe to zachary 3d prints and i will see you next time Let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sorry, 3D prints. Bye-bye.